Thanks a lot for being here today. We would like to hear a bit more about STC's new policy paper on DDLG. What does it mean for the institution and what guidance does it give to us? Thank you as well for the opportunity to say some words uh, about the updated DDLG policy paper. DDLG is a mandatory uh, for STC and it's mandatory for the regional, the humanitarian, the global and the Eastern Corporation. It is, includes all segments of STC's uh, uh, operation. As a member of the board of directors, I really would like to underline its importance for STC. DGLG is a major goal in the still valid um, framework message to the parliament and will be also a major uh, goal in the coming one. Back to the document in front of us. How will it be applied within STC at head office at field level? The policy paper as it is now defined is a light document B. What does that mean? STC has several policy papers which defines that its status, uh, its status makes it compulsory. That means it is a compulsory document which is for all of our operation uh, guiding. STC invests one third of its development fund in governance work. This sends a strong message both to us and our partners and also gives us a certain responsibility. A lot of Switzerland's contribution go to our partners' countries' reform process and will depend on the results of our governance work. And our work on governance can only be successful if we acknowledge that governance is inherently political and our new policy paper is based on exactly that understanding. To overcome political and social challenge we have to provide political answers. This is a prerequisite for poverty reduction and peace and state building. Doing that we also align of course with the new SDG agenda and we find in the SDG agenda many aspects of what we have now reflected in our policy paper. In terms of the scope of the document, what does it aim to deliver? On the one hand, it delivers an outline of the thematic range of DDLG, democratization, uh, decentralization, and local governance. It offers a basic orientation which is important for our work and it facilitates a common understanding within STC but also with partner and expert. Thus, it leads us to more coherence in the terminology and as well as in the use. On the other hand, the document, and that's what I like very much, uh, describes uh, uh, the status quo of the work in this thematic area includes the international debate. It contains everything currently important for DDLG. In other words, it sets the standard of STC in DDLG. But the policy paper also goes beyond the status quo, and I think that's important to notice. Uh, that is our, our ambition, our aim. By trying to take into account the debates of the immediate future, it also has a strategic meaning and orientation and dimension. It does make statements about the aspects uh, the SDC should consider in future and the direction of our work is already taken. Thanks a lot, Elisabeth, for this interview. Thank you very much and I'm all encouraged to use this document, uh, to work with it, to uh, read it, to digest it uh, in order to uh, make it an applicable paper, not only remaining in the shelf, but also in our head and hearts. Thank you.